first step to pitching our snow tent is creating a nice hard level surface. We do this by compressing the snow with our snowshoes. Snow pegs or tent pegs are often useless, so I gather some small tree branches nearby. With the tent's main frame standing and pegged down, we are now ready to put the outer layer on top. snow anchor just keep, keep going this way so wide enough for my stick and I don't even tie a knot all I do is just wrap that around I just bury it now the reason I don't tie a knot is it can be extremely difficult to undo the knot once everything freezes, and that's what's going to happen tonight, the temperature is going to drop to minus seven. So even this small stick should be enough to make a snow anchor. here in the vestibule section, just digging out a small hole. You could use this hole for cooking. It also just makes it easier to get out of the tent in the morning and put your shoes on. door of the tent open now. Just going to pass in the, some of the stuff into Christina. She's inside there now. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm just digging a hole. Put my backpack in.
turn the cameras off just now, I just dug the hole a bit deeper. And a bit wider. I took a lot of stuff out of my backpack. But if required, that'll just give us a little bit more storage space having that hole. Snowshoes just sticking out of the ground there. They've just seen the snowshoes. There she is in there, getting the hut ready or the little house. With that front doorstep made of snow. So what are you cold? Yeah, cold man. Very cold. Let's just venture over here. To the mountain suburb of Andrew Bishop. You're digging your front doorstep out. It's a lot neater than my doorstep. <laughs> okay. Somewhere to sit and put the shoes on. Yep. So it's now about an hour later. Just got my dinner cooking here. And that piece of foil is just so I can place my pots on the ground without them getting icy cold. So we're digging in that snow pit that we made. Sleeping bag if you're uh, 